guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is one that you guys asked me to make about a week or two ago so a couple weeks ago I mentioned in a video that I had cut Moo's nails and when I said that you guys realized that I actually give her regular nail trims about once every two weeks and you guys asked me to show you guys how I do that so I wasn't really sure how I was gonna film this so I'm just gonna do my best and give it a go in this video and show you guys how I trim Moo's nails Moo's nails grow very very fast and I'm not really sure why exactly so I don't know if it's because of the meal worms or her diet or if it's the fact that she's a dwarf hamster I'm not really sure um, but her nails do grow really really fast so I thought that since I have to give her a nail trim today I would go on and try and film it for you guys to show you guys how I do it a few big disclaimers before I show you guys how I trim Moon's nails um, I do want to say that I am NOT a vet I'm not an expert this is the first hamsters nails that I've ever trimmed in my life I've just found a way that works best for me and Moo so that I can trim her nails safely and not nick her if you are nervous about trimming your hamsters nails or any small Small animals nails please don't do it if you're worried that you're gonna mess up or do it too low or hurt your hamster be sure to just take it to a vet and they may even do it for free for you I know the first time that I had to get moose nails trimmed I had the vet do it for me because I was too scared to do it and that's okay I don't want you to hurt your animal the way that I'm gonna be showing you guys today on how I trim moose nails is just what works best for me and moose so that I can safely trim her nails without nicking her or cutting them too short obviously I've done this many many times over the past six or seven months that I've had her so I've gotten pretty good at it but it did take some practice and I had to be very very careful when I very first started so make sure that you do all of your research and you have the proper tool to cut your animals nails okay so I'm gonna go get Moo and then I will try my best to show you guys how I do this okay guys so here is little Moo Moo I have her little treats here come here Moo Moo okay so the first thing that I do is I take her and I hold her by the scruff of the back of her neck. Now this is not going to hurt her whatsoever. As you can see, she's a little bit antsy because I think she knows I'm gonna be clipping her nails. But she's also really curious and she wants to roam the bed and stuff. I take her by the scruff of her little neck right here and then I hold her with these two fingers and I cup the rest of my fingers around her to where she's kind of gripped like that. And I'm not holding her very hard at all. See, she's like getting right away. But I do it with a little bit of pressure to where I can get her to kind of just be still. And then I go in with the clippers and I cut her nails. So let's give her a treat to kind of like calm her down because she's obviously a little bit antsy. Here you go. Good girl. Okay. So then we're gonna pick her up by that scruff and this kinda has to go a little bit quick. And I also do one to two nails at a time and then I sit her back down for a break. So I pick her up by the scruff and hold her. Wait till she's still. And then I clip the nails. Sometimes she'll clean herself or empty her pouch while I'm doing this and that's okay. But it's so important to trim your hamster's nails because you don't want their nails to get so long that they get caught on things, caught in their wheel, or it makes them uncomfortable. Hold her by the scruff, not too tight, but just with enough pressure to know that you're in charge and she can't go anywhere. And then we cut those toenails. Now I just did two and then I give her a break, pet her. You're a good girl. And this usually takes me about 10 minutes or so. And I have had times where she's just too wiggly and I have to wait and do it a different day, which that can happen and that's okay. Good girl. And it's okay if she wants to empty her pouch. Good girl. That's okay. Good girl. You're doing so well. I'm sorry you had to empty your pouch, but we've got to get this done, boo-boo. Good girl. You a good girl. I usually just give her a little break and pet her, you know, because this is a stressful thing, obviously. They don't like having it done, but her nails get super, super long, so it is really important. Good girl. All right. I think that's it. Good job, all right. And she's gonna make a mess, that's okay. Let's give her a worm because she was a good girl. Good job, Mumu, you did such a good job. Look, good girl, you did such a good job. And just remember, just to be very gentle and patient, you may only get to clip one nail each time. You may have to do it over the course of a day or two, and that's okay, you wanna take your time and just make sure that your hamster is comfortable. The scruff is not gonna hurt them. Just don't obviously do it too hard. You wanna just be as gentle as you can be. You did such a good job. So these are the items that I use every time that I trim Moo's nails. I always keep her mealworms as a treat just to relax her and let her know she's a good girl. And then I use these little tiny baby nail clippers. And these are the ones that I use every single time that I trim her nails. Again, 
If you are not comfortable using nail clippers, they do make other tools you can use. These are just what I find works best for me. Obviously, um, this is just to keep in case I were to nick her or if anything were to happen or if she poops or pee pees or anything, I have that. And then I also have a little Q-tip that I keep in case I were to accidentally nick her. Again, I've never nicked her before because I am very careful and we do sort of have a routine with this. However, they do make the Q-tips that can do like quick clotting in case you were to accidentally nick her, then you could use this to kind of dry up that clot. I do also want to mention that there are other ways that you can keep your hamster's nails trimmed, such as putting rocks in their enclosure and sticks and logs and things for them to climb on. You can always do that. However, there are some species of hamsters, like dwarfs, that nails grow extremely fast and you really just can't prevent it. That's why I'm showing you this video today. Moo is a dwarf hamster, so again, her nails are growing pretty quickly. However, if you have a Syrian, you may never have to trim your hamster's nails at all, and using the preventative measures like rocks and logs and things and sand baths in their enclosure may do the job perfectly. While doing nail trimmings can seem stressful and even a bit scary just thinking about doing it, trust me, I was nervous the first time that I had to cut Moo's after the vet showed me how safely if your hamster's nails are growing at a very fast rate and you see that they're turning sideways or getting caught on anything, it is very important that you do cut those nails or allow a vet to do it for you. Leaving a hamster's nails extremely long where they could potentially hurt themselves on something is unacceptable. Okay guys, so that is how I trim Moo's nails. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. A few things I do wanna mention is, if you have a hamster that is not as used to you as Moo is to me, you're gonna to wanna to be careful because hamsters obviously can bite you. And if they bite you while you're trying to trim their nail and you accidentally nick them or cut it too short, it could be really, really painful and dangerous for your hamster or any small animal. So please be careful. And remember, if you're scared to do this, do not try it at home if you do not understand how or you don't have the proper tools, just please, please do your research. Make sure that you're not using clippers that are too big or too hefty or anything like that because you could seriously injure your pet. I just had so many people ask to know how I trim Moo's nails, so I thought that I would make this video to show you guys how I do it. But again, Moo is very, very used to me. She's a very sweet hamster, so I don't have to worry about her ever biting me when I do this. I just got really lucky with her, and she and I spend every single night together bonding, so she's really, really used to me. And that's really about all I can say as far as her temperament and how she allows me to clip her nails so well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you do not already follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I will put that on the screen for you. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.